Hello, and welcome to another Geek Moment. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about programming with Arduino and Adafruit. I came up with this design with some RGB LEDs, some push buttons, a slide switch, a microphone, a speaker. I'd also like to get some capacitive touch built in. But look at the mess. This isn't easy to play around with. Speaking of playing around, where did I put that thing? Oh, it's hiding under my mouse. Adafruit Circuit Playground. This is based off the Atmega 32U4 MCU. This has everything built into one platform. It programs very easy with the Arduino IDE. I'd like to walk you through the process of getting this up and running on your PC. Everything from installing drivers to installing libraries. Now let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to do, I'd like to point out that it's best to not plug in your circuit playground until you have all the proper drivers installed. Adafruit created this amazing getting started guide that has everything you need to know to get this up and running. So please refer back to that. The link is below in the, in the description. And that's how I got started. So while looking through this getting started guide, it has everything uh, from an overview to what is on the board, what part numbers are on there, talking about all the different sensors and push buttons. And then it gets into installing the drivers. So this blue box right here, we're gonna click download Adafruit Windows driver installer. Okay, once we get that installed, we're gonna open that up and install these drivers. Now that we have the drivers installed, okay, you're gonna want Arduino 1.6 plus IDE. I'm not sure what the current version is, but if you click this link, it'll bring you right to the Arduino download center. You click Windows installer, because I have a Windows PC, which I already have that installed on my machine, so I'm not gonna go through these steps, but um, I would suggest contribute and download, or you can just download. So open the Arduino IDE, go to File, Preferences, and down on the Additional Boards Manager URL, you're gonna wanna copy and paste the URL from the Getting Started Guide. I'll show you where it is in this Getting Started Guide. It is right here. So you wanna copy this and then paste it into the Additional Boards Manager. And then when you're done with that, click OK. Next thing we need to do is go Tools, Board and Boards Manager, and we need to install the Adafruit AVR Boards Guide. And there it is. I already have it installed, but if you don't have it installed, click Install right there. Then we need to go and install the library. Right here you can click Download the Adafruit Library. Okay, open that up. Now the easiest way to do this is copy it from your Downloads folder, and then you'll need to paste this into the Arduino folder. Mine's in Documents under Arduino. And then Libraries, and then Paste right here. And it's that easy. I'm gonna delete it because I already have it pasted in there. But that's how you do it. And simply close out of that, open the Arduino IDE again, and then go Tools, Board, and then you should be able to scroll down, and there is your Adafruit Circuit Playground. So that's the board we want. Go back to Tools and Port. Well, first you have to plug in your USB and it'll take a few seconds for everything to load up and then you'll be able to select your port. Port, I'm on COM4, Arduino Circuit Playground, and now that's ready. And let's see if our examples are in here. File, Examples, down to Adafruit Circuit Playground, and the Mega Demo is the best demo that Tony D created. It has all the different sensors and you can demo everything on the board. Compile and upload. Now that you got everything installed on your computer, you got the Arduino IDE, the libraries, the proper drivers, and you uploaded the mega demo that Tony D created, I'm gonna walk you through what the different sensors are and how the demo works. So as you can see, there is 10 NeoPixel LEDs that you can program to any color you want. We have the VU meter. As you can see, as I'm talking, the lights jump up. We have capacitive touch input, and also the speakers are included into this demo. I like to play music. This is the accelerometer. As you turn the board, the lights change color. And the other push button switch will change the axis of the accelerometer. So you can go front to back, or you can shake it. And this is the temp sensor. We'll change the settings. The temp sensor is on this side. It's just a thermal resistor. As you warm it up, you can see the lights jump up. And this side, next to the eyeball, is the light sensor. As you cover it up, the lights change. 
And now we're back to the NeoPixel demo. This product can also be powered via the JST connector with a battery, and I would strongly encourage you, seems though this is a playground, to go play around with it. Try changing all the NeoPixels to a certain color or changing the accelerometer colors. Do whatever you feel. I'd like to thank Lady Ada and her team at Adafruit for designing this amazing education platform. It has basically every sensor you need to get started with any electronics design. Tony D, your uh, mega demo, it's great. It showcases everything you need. I love it. Um, I encourage everybody to try it out. Why would you play with this and try to create a product with this when you can just play on the playground all day? This is just a mess. Thank you for watching another Geek Moment. Please check out the product on digikey.com or get more information on maker.io slash playground.